389 Gaming. Hey guys, and welcome back. So, last time, we teleported into a strange new world, and March took his sweet time realizing he's no longer in Kansas anymore. So, we bumped into a lizard. Let's uh, find out what the lizard has to say. Did you say? Said lizard. It takes a lot of nerve to call a banger a lizard. <laughs> and now we're getting help from a guy that says Koopa. So this is a Moogle, everybody. Moogles are little fluffy characters. Uh, they have uh, actually some interesting classes, but they're mainly like a trickster class, or mainly like a trickster race. They have some magic classes, and they have some, you know, combat classes and a ranged class, like most classes do. Most classes have some diversity, but you know, their their main gimmick is that they have support magic available to them pretty early on. And Bangas, on the other hand, they're mainly your combat guys. They start out with two fighting classes and can acquire one spellcaster class. But for the most part, they're, they're all about fighting. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about yet, you'll get to see it in a minute. Once we finish these novices off. Those clothes, you're a soldier, aren't you? Well, um... I mean, I look nothing like what all of the other soldiers in the game look like, but I guess you could make that assumption if you'd like. <laughs> Alright. Now, we get to do some fighting. This is gonna be good. Now we're actually going to get to show off some of the actual mechanics of the game. Uh, so as you can tell, it's an SRPG, and you move around on a board, and you fight. And yes, engage means fight. Good job. Keen observer of the obvious. Mumplank is such a cool character. <laughs> or Mumplank. I don't know, know which, which you guys prefer to call him. We'll get to see his uh, name in a second when we scroll over him. Alright, engagement is battle. Laws or rules for the battle, and the guy in the armor is the judge. If he sees you do something wrong, you get in trouble. Now, they actually make it so you can't get in trouble here. Normally, when you go to action, you would have battle tech and then you would have items underneath it, but they took the, uh, the item choice away from us, just to make sure that we don't screw up and, you know, do something stupid. Now, we're gonna try to grind march up a level here, because I have a, uh, a battle plan for the rest of the game, and I would like to follow it. Uh, and these guys are also not going to give us a whole lot of experience, so we probably won't level up in the, uh, the first, first battle here. Now, you don't need to worry too much about our little muggle friend. Uh, after a while, he'll actually revive himself. So even if he gets taken out, we also have no control over him. But because he's a guest character at the moment. So even if he gets taken out, he'll still, uh, he'll still come back for the next segment of the battle. Like every time the judge talks, he'll get full health again. I think we do too, but I'm not sure. So this, this battle is impossible. Impossible to lose, so to speak. Um, let's use first aid. That'll give us uh, that'll give us more XP than just fighting these guys. We'll just let Mon Black take the last guy out. Because they're just gonna fight with each other while we hang back and get experience points for free. Get our money for nothing and our XP for free. I 
award you five bonus points if you get the reference. At this rate, the uh, the AI is going to level up before we uh, finish this battle. So, uh, Montblanc is a black mage. He has access to fire, thunder, and ice right at the beginning of the game, uh, which makes him fairly useful as a character early on. And we're actually going to keep him as a black mage for a while. Oops. I hit wait. That wasn't intentional. I was actually going to use a battle tech, but... Failed to do that. Let's see if this ends the battle or not. No, it won't. Maybe he'll get taken out. Alright. This time, let's not screw it up. This will give us 10 XP again. So this is basically, um, if you want to use it, this is a way you can exploit the soldier class early in the game. Uh, you can also do it with any other character that has healing magic, because you can target your allies with it with no negative repercussion, or you can target yourself. And if you target yourself, you'll always get 10 XP. If you target a character who is higher level than you, you will get more XP. Alright, so he is now going to use first aid as well. Alright, I'm getting a little tired of this battle, so hopefully... Mont Blanc will end it this round. If he misses, we're just going to go over there and uh, beat him ourselves. No, oh, there we go. Alright. Battle's over and we got a ton of XP. Woohoo! We won the super easy battle. All right. So, how much, how long has this episode been going on for? I think I might go. Uh, oh, there he goes. So, if you break a law in this game, which is what he did by using a healing item, you go to prison. But uh, usually, like a, a normal infracture will just get you a yellow card. If you get a red card, you'll go to prison. So, similar to, like, football, if you get two yellow cards, it's a red card automatically. Uh, gross violations of the rules can lead to a, an immediate red card. So, I think if you use a forbidden attack that isn't allowed and you defeat an opponent, then it will give you a red card automatically. But other than that, you usually get a second chance. Never call a bango lizard. <laughs> yes, he's a Moogle. Interesting. Ivalis is the name of the town we're from. And here, it's a country. Once again, some more uh, selfish, uh, sorry, um, self-indulgence from the uh, Final Fantasy team. Uh, I don't think Banga's ever appeared in a Final Fantasy game before this game, so I'm not entirely sure which game he's referencing. <laughs> The same, well, Moogles appear in all of them, but the same applies for the Viera and the Numo as well, which are the other two 
non-human races aside from the uh, moguls. Moogles. I don't know if you call them moguls or moogles, really. It's kind of indecisive. I would assume moogles. And they say Kupo at the end of everything. I am Marche. What's your name? Mont Blanc. I am assuming that's French. Incidentally, the only character in the game with a French name. Alright, and now we are being introduced to the clan system. So, none of these characters are actually in our clan, but, uh... Well, some of them are, I guess. Well, actually, I think all of the uh, clan members are represented. The three guys in the front there are from our clan, and the uh, Banga over in, to the right is in our clan. Aside from that, I think the rest are just generic NPCs. There are three generic NPCs there that aren't really part of our clan. Yep, we don't have a name yet, so the new guy's gonna name it. Make it a Koopo one. I have no idea what Koopo means, but, uh, thank you. Uh, so we have the option of calling it Nutsy. I think, uh, I think I have a better name. Um, R. Uh, I'm playing this with a, uh... I'm playing this with a uh, PS3 controller, so if, because it's on a, a ROM em emulator, Clan 389, there we go. So if uh, I fumble with the buttons a little bit, it's just because I don't have the, uh, the normal key layout that I'm used to, because I'm using a PlayStation controller. Alright, now we get to place stuff. I'm not quite sure where to put Sofum exactly. I usually put it down here, but supposedly that's wrong. Like, depending on uh, the layout you pick, you will get different items available to you. I didn't check through and uh, get all of the information on them, though. Let's try putting it here. And apparently that did nothing, so that was a waste. Now, I'm just going to really quick go in here, show you guys the party layout. So we have six party members. We have March, who is a soldier. We have Marius, who is a soldier. We have Mont Blanc, who is a black mage. We have Newman, who is a monk. Also, the names of all of these four last characters are all random. We've got a white mage, Numo, and we've got a Viero, who is an archer. So, you can go in here, and you can change their jobs. Humans have the largest um, list of jobs that they can use. So, they've got Black Mage, White Mage, Thief, Soldier, and Archer right off the bat, which are a good job diversity. We're going to really quickly do something that uh, most people would consider to be stupid. We're going to change March to White Mage because I want to unlock a class for him. Uh, the rest of you guys, I think... Well, we'll change... We'll change Newman to Warrior, because that'll get us his advanced jobs quicker. At least the ones I want to give him. So I have... I have a sort of a game plan for this. Hold on. Which button is it? There we go, R. I want him to have first aid, because that'll give him... Uh, let's see, we can give him a Curious, and we'll give him the Bronze Shield. So now he has all of the equipment that was on March originally. I think the rest of you guys can stay as is. Alright, do you have... Alright, you have a Short Sword and Bronze Sword, that's good. Now, 
the next thing you want to look at is the pick abilities section here. These are reaction abilities. If an opponent attacks you with a certain attack or ability, then uh, a reaction ability will automatically occur. These are like a buff ability or a support ability. We'll just put Shield Bear on him. It doesn't actually matter right now because he can use a shield normally, but Shield Bearer... Uh, let's see if we can read information on it. Um, it's... I don't know. I don't remember how to how to look at the information. It says R, but it just gives me the uh, info there. It doesn't matter. Shield Bearer lets you wield a shield with any class. So not every class in the game, or not every job in the game, rather, will let you use a shield. Now, March, he doesn't have any equipment on him, so we're just going to really quickly go into the shop here. Pick up some basic material. We start off with some money. Not a lot. Some. And we want... Oh, we can get bronze armor at the beginning of the game. I didn't notice that. Um, we'll get ourselves a hempen robe. No. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Now, I'm also not quite sure how long this episode's been going on, but I think we will save the... Uh, our first mission for the next episode, but I will quickly show you how to acquire a mission. Go into the pub, do not click on rumors, it's extremely boring and just gives you information on the game. Herb picking. This will be our first mission. Looking for people to gather the fever reducing herb muskmoli? 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 Muskmalay? I have no idea how to pronounce that. If, if you guys know how to pronounce it, please uh, post in the comment section below. And we will be searching in the Giza Plains. That will be the location we have to go to. It already exists on the map. No experience necessary. Evilis Pharmacy Guild. And we win 600 guilt for getting it, so we double our money. No cancellations. Now, this mission is just the introduction mission. It's the only mission we can choose, and it's extremely easy. So, we should be fine. I will wait until the next episode to show you guys, and I will see you... Well, I guess tomorrow. I don't think I'll get up more than two episodes in one day. So... Bye, I guess?